Hello YouTube, Millennium X17 here. Uh quick uh minor update. Uh not good news update though. Uh kind of the thing is it rains when it pours. Uh good news though. The Last of Us. I'm gonna be playing through that. Uh I don't know when I can get to it though. Uh here's the thing. My uh my PlayStation 3 has always been sitting right there, it's been there forever. Uh so yeah, the I, before I go to pick it up at The Last of Us by GameStop, I try to turn on my PS3 uh, to, you know, update the, you know, firmware and anything else. And then I also hear there's some sort of a save game glitch going on with The Last of Us that the autosave might not work. Something, okay, yeah, I might want to get the patch so that it doesn't do that. Uh, it sound important and all that. But uh, my PS3, uh, I've been having problems. I do not think it's the PS3's fault, though. I've been having problems with my uh, wireless internet here um i think my router might be dying i don't know what uh but the ps3 i have to manually select the router and then it doesn't want to uh obtain its own ip address for some reason which it's supposed to do automatically and then it's like oh we, we can't find you know it's it's it times out is what it does which i don't understand what the fuck is going on with that so as of right now it's it's officially offline which it's not an xbox one so it, it's it's okay with that um the, so there's that. I've got a headache from that issue as it stands. But either way, I find I get to uh, the GameStop. I get is I I pre-ordered it, so I, I was going to get it, but it was the last one they had. So they were uh, wondering what took me so long to get there. But yeah, there was that. Um, and then so I start playing the game, and I'm not even like ten minutes into it, and I'm not going to spoil anything. Spoiler free, but uh, my cat starts puking his guts out in the hallway, so I quickly have to pause the game and then go clean that up, that whole nonsense up. And then I come back. I did, was sitting here pretty much, you know, paused as usual. Uh, just sitting here for about 20 minutes. And here's the crazy thing, though. Before this happens, the first time you get control of the main character... Uh, before, you know, after everything gets crazy, like I said, no spoilers, but I decided I wanted to test out the, uh, the Roxio card again, give it a chance with XSplit, and I physically have recorded proof that it was working. Okay, so, again, it's not the game's fault. It's not the PS3's fault. Uh, I think what's going on here is my controller is dead. So, check this out. I come back after it's sitting there for 20 minutes, and I'm gonna, let's see if we can, I'm gonna be doing a switch handed on the controller so we're just going to exit out and it's really not a spoiler section it's very early on in the so he's literally 10 minutes into the game and as you can see he's spinning around like hell and this is the part where I'm going to get all disoriented and nonsense but you got to hold the stick all the fuck way off to the right hand side so it's like as of right now the digitally speaking the PS3 thinks that the controller is now Still slightly slanted, but more centered. When it reaches the center point, off he goes. Like, I still got up, I still got down. Every other button still works. You click it as the light, so it's like, it's only when I hold the stick off to the side that he stops going crazy. You know, I loaded up Nino Kuni, it does the same thing with Nino Kuni, so... Yeah, the uh, I tried resetting the controller by hitting, that's a screw hole, that button right there is uh, with a paper clip, it resets the thing, uh, it says, oh no, we've lost contact with the, you know, the controller, please help us, and then I turn it back on and it, it connects just fine, and then, uh, yeah, it doesn't do anything, so... Uh, I don't know if the controller died or what the fuck is going on with it. Um, one thing I can say is this is the original controller that I got with the uh, with my fat PS3. It's uh, it's had some I don't want to say serious use because for anyone who knows I've been using this for uh, just exclusives only. So I mean it's not like it's been uh, a, you know objected to a serious amount of use. You know, it's old, it's definitely, you know, six, seven years old or something. I forget, even forget how long I've had this with, the, uh, with that fat PS3 right there. So, I mean, so yeah, the um, the problem being is that it's like, well, first off, it's like 1230 at night, so I can't, can't do anything about it. But the thing that really pisses me off, uh, today I'm going to take a train down to New York City to see Monster Jam. So, you know, 
I won't be able to deal with this until Sunday. I'm mean, gonna, I guess I'm gonna have to either, you know, I don't know if taking it apart and doing anything inside will even do anything with the controller, but, uh, yeah, at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna have to buy a new controller, so, which sucks, which means I'm gonna have to wait until at least Sunday before I can even start playing The Last of Us, which I'm, I'm not even ten minutes in. I'm still literally in the control, like, they literally just told me to use the circle button to crouch. So it's like, super early on in the game. Which kinda sucks, but, either way, uh, the Roxio card... Seems to work better with the, uh, with XSplit. A little on the bright side, but I can fix that. That's not too big of a deal. But it just, it's just fucking bizarre that all of a sudden, you know, the controller decides, it's, I, I didn't drop the controller, I didn't do anything weird with it. It just, it just sort of, when the game was paused, it was just sitting there. It just sort of decided to go all fucking weird on me. But either which way, 